What is up everyone, it's Carson Gamer here and welcome back. So guys, in today's video I am going to be going over the upcoming patch which is 223 or 223, however you wish to say it. I'm going to be going over the upcoming notes on the list and some of the future dinos that will be added. So, first up on the list is custom RP orientated recipe slash cooking system including skill based results. I actually don't know what this means, it's just some sort of like improvement to the cooking system with recipes and cooking pots, there's not really much info on that so I can't really help you much on that guys but I'm going to go talking about the new dinos that will be added now because these things are cool. So the first dino add is the Kiruku, it is a penguin like creature, it is really friendly so if you come across them in the snow biome they will not run away from you and they will probably just approach you. I'd imagine they'd be easy to tame, just like the dolphins, where you feed them on the spot, you don't have to knock them out. And it says, once they are tamed, they act as a heat source. So, if you're in the snow biome and you have, like, a few of these around you, uh, you won't freeze to death, because they give off heat, they're like mobile radiators, so that's pretty cool. Okay guys, so, coming up next is the anglerfish. This thing is absolutely awesome. Once tamed, you can get it to follow you around, and it acts as a mobile light source for you, as it's got all the light things on it. Also, once you kill it, you gain the little uh, light source nodes that can be used as long-lasting organic light emplacements for surface dwellers. Now, that is pretty cool. You can tame it. I don't. I don't think you can ride it. It looks a bit too small to be able to be rideable. And yeah, it gives a awesome light. So its temperament is aggressive to small, small enemies, or otherwise skittish. So it's gonna target coal, piranhas, anything smaller than it, and then it'll run away from anything else like megalodons, plesios, mosasaurs. Maybe even you. I don't know what its size is, so it might target us. Probably will. Okay, so next up is the Creature Fur Pass. Now, I don't actually have any pictures or anything to show you what this is about. Um, but I know if you notice when wolves came out, they have that furry effect around their, their chest area. Where when the wind's blowing, you can see all the fur... Uh, brushing around on them. They're basically going to be adding that to all mammals that actually have that, like the mammoth, the saber tooth, uh, Argentifus, I think they might have a little bit, I'm not sure. But, and on the upcoming dinos as well. Uh, next up is the catapult. Now, there isn't anything confirmed about this, there's no pictures, there's no can't find any dev kit images or anything, so it's going to be roughly, I reckon it's going to be roughly the same size as the ballista. It's obviously going to be a, another way of destroying stone structures, which is going to be pretty cool. I think that it's going to end up having two types of ammo, probably a metal ball and a stone ball. The stone ball will do a lot less damage than the metal one, obviously, and be a lot cheaper. But then the metal one's going to do the most damage and be more efficient at raiding people. Next up is the minigun turret. Now, in my opinion, I think this is like the auto turret, but you get to mount it yourself. If you can, it's going to be pretty cool. Your own mountable auto turret. Um, I think that's pretty much <coughs> everything about the minigun turret. It's just another auto turret, really. There's not really much new to it. And last but not least, there's the Tyred Server Admin and Tribe Admin Name Tag Icons. That's just like some little improvement to tribes and stuff. Something that I don't really care about, personally. Alright guys, so that's pretty much it for the upcoming version 223 list. As you see, it says say more notes to come. I'm just covering the ones that are on here now. You'll obviously have to check yourself for the more notes to come, you know, over the next few days. I don't know them all now. Uh, now going on to the new uh, creature they will be adding in the future, the new dossier they've announced. So this is the Dire Bear. The Dire Bear, the Dire Wolf, they're all the same. So the Dire Bear, I'm going to read this uh, little, the little domesticated thing for you. So once tamed, the Dire Bear is a strong and reliable mount. It can carry vast quantities of goods and can sprint for extremely long <clears throat> nearly infinite periods. It is not the fastest creature from a hard stop, but after building up momentum, 
Its sustained overland speed builds to among the best on the island. Of course, being able to feed a dire bear, both meat and plant life, makes keeping one fairly convenient regardless of the environment. So guys, this is going to be pretty cool. I can't wait for this. Um, its temperament is territorial, so it's going to act like a spino. As you know, if you spinos are territorial, or something, when they only get aggressive and you get close enough to them in their watery area. So if you see one of these, you won't get attacked on the spot unless you're obviously in their territory roaming around doing whatever you normally do, and then it will strike at you. And that's gonna pretty much it, guys, about the new dino. Now there isn't any more dinosaur, there isn't any more dino dotes that have been released since now, since the 8th of November. But I'm sure there will be more coming over the next two weeks or next upcoming weeks. I don't know. They they normally release them on a weekly period, one a week. Guys, that's pretty much it. There's not really much else to talk about. So I just want to thank you all for watching. If you enjoyed this video and if it was any help to you in any way, shape or form, don't forget to leave a like. Just want to quickly mention uh, thanks to everyone for all the support, all the likes, all the comments and all the shares on all my other videos. I really, really do appreciate it. And guys, if you're new to the channel and you want to see some more of this kind of stuff, don't forget to subscribe. Thank you and I'll see you all in the next video.